The Western mainstream media and the American politicians are reporting to you the genocide is happening against the Uyghur population, the Uyghur ethnic minority population in Xinjiang Autonomous Region in China. Xinjiang Autonomous Region is in the far northwest area of China. It borders Afghanistan, so you know you're in a pretty rough area of the world just from that description alone. But they're pushing the idea that genocide is happening, but you have to understand what genocide actually is. It's the crime of deliberately destroying part or all of a, an ethnic group of people by killing or otherwise. I would imagine the otherwise would be, I don't know, um, taking away their culture, destroying their, uh, their way of life, trying to eliminate their language or maybe their religion because the Uyghur people are Muslim, and this is different from most Chinese. The problem with this is there is no evidence of any of this happening. When you look at the mainstream media in the West, they're always telling you, well, this has been alleged. Oh yeah, we read a report. They don't tell you who wrote the report. Uh, a think tank, an American think tank, says this happened. We have somebody said this. You know, it's always so vague that it's 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 hard to uh, put your finger on it, and uh, that's why they do that. They they try to make it so, even if they're called out on it, well, it could have been a mistake because it was only alleged. It was a report that we read, but so it's not our fault. It's the person that wrote the report's fault. It's the Gordon Changs of the world. You know what I mean? And uh, so when, you, when you're walking down the street in a place like Kashgar or Ulamuchi in Xinjiang Autonomous Region, and you see Uyghur language written in Arabic, on the street signs, you know that the language isn't being genocided. When you look at the beautiful mosques in the center square in Ulamuchi or Kashgar, you know that the religion isn't being genocided. When you see the population explosion of the Uyghur people in the area that's getting more and more, well, you know that's untrue also. So when you listen to the propaganda from the Western world, from the politicians in the Western world, and the mainstream media in the Western world, you have to understand where it's coming from. And it's getting more and more right now just for the fact that they are going into an election. And they have to demonize. They have to make somebody their enemy and because China is their peer competitor, China is the target. Oh, yes, they are. And why? Well, because if the Western politicians went into an election on their own merits, they would lose hands down because look at the streets of America. Look at the world that they've created, the poverty, the despair, the hate, so they have to make China the bad guy. And that's the way it is. But then again, you look at what China's done in Xinjiang. The de-radicalization. They've basically stopped terrorism in its tracks. But how did they do this? Well, they didn't go in with boots on the ground and guns like they do in the United States in places like Iraq, in Syria, in Afghanistan. What they did is they went in with money, built educational institutions, and educated the population. They built roads. They built high-speed trains. 
They brought water from the mountains into the desert to turn desert into farmland so that people had a better life. The people that were educated had trades that they could supply their family with a home, with food, with a better life. What a concept. Why didn't the Americans think of this? Why didn't the Europeans think of this? See, since 2017, there hasn't been one terrorist attack in all of China. Before that, there were many. What's changed? It's harder to radicalize an educated person, a person with hope, a person with a home, a person with uh, hope for their children to have a better life than what they do, into some religious ISIS or Al-Qaeda type of organization. If you have no education, you have no hope for the future, well, it makes it easier. See, China took that away. Now, this is what Europe could learn from China. Take a page out of the, the Chinese playbook and understand that if you educate your people, if you make their lives better, if you build roads, infrastructure, make it so if they build something, they can get it to market, then their lives will be better. The Western world hasn't figured that out yet. They would rather occupy. They would rather put boots in the grounds and guns in the faces of the people that have been radicalized. What does that do? That just makes them more radicalized. That makes them hate more. Where China went the other direction and gave education, gave hope, gave all of those things that make it so people's lives are better in this area of, of China. It doesn't matter that they're an ethnic minority to the Chinese people. It doesn't matter that they have different religious beliefs. It doesn't matter that they look different than the Han people. Because Uyghur people do look different than the Han people. What matters is they thrive in the Chinese world with the Chinese people. And uh, if everybody thrives, then it makes a better life for everybody. We don't need terrorism. We don't need radicalization. We don't need hate like they have in the West because China is better than that. And they're proving it on a regular basis by helping the ethnic minorities out of poverty. And they're stopping terrorism and radicalization from outside forces through policies that make sense to everybody. And that makes sense to me.